afternoon, everybody. I'd like to thank you all for being here. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Chip Conville. I'm the Knox County Prosecutor. Two weeks ago, Knox County suffered a great loss, the killing of Danville Police Officer Thomas Cockrell. In that two-week period, there's been a lot of investigation done of this incident, um, and you will see in front of you a number of the investigating officers. To my right, Detective Lieutenant Craig Feeney from the Knox County Sheriff's Office, Chief Dan Weckeser of the Danville Police Department, Special Agent Eric Lenhart from Ohio BCI. Standing behind me is Special Agent Chuck Moran uh, from Ohio BCI. All of these uh, entities have been involved in the investigation uh, of this incident. The investigation is still continuing because there are a number of pieces of evidence that are still in the laboratory at BCI. Uh, and I would like to thank the BCI folks who are here, thank Attorney General Mike DeWine for the very quick response that we have gotten uh, from the BCI labs in, turn, in terms of turning them over. We are here today to announce the indictment of Herschel Ray Jones III, a.k.a. Chopper Jones, uh, for the death of Danville Police Officer uh, Thomas Cottrell. The Knox County Grand Jury today returned a 10-count indictment. Uh, there are some charges in here that are not directly related uh, to the events in Danville, and we'll try to explain those to you as we go. This is a finding of probable cause uh, on the crimes alleged in the indictment. We are not going to do a complete and exhaustive review of all of the evidence uh, here today. As I said, there are many pieces of evidence that are still uh, being evaluated by DCI, uh, but what was presented to the grand jury uh, was sufficient enough for them to find probable cause uh, on this indictment. So if you have copies of the indictment with you, I'll go through it with you. Uh, and take any questions that you might have. Count one is a count of aggravated murder. It alleges that on January 17th, Herschel Jones purposely and with prior calculation caused the death of Officer Thomas Cottrell. There are three specifications to count one. Uh, the first count is a death specification. It's one of the uh, counts that can be added to an aggravated uh, murder charge to make it eligible for the death penalty, and that is uh, that Herschel Jones was under detention uh, at the time the offense was committed. So you know, detention in this case includes being on post-release control uh, through an officer of the Adult Parole Authority, part of the Department of Rehabilitation and Correction. Specification two is a death specification for causing the death of a law enforcement officer. It states that Herschel Jones had reasonable cause to know or knew uh, Thomas Cottrell to be a law enforcement officer and either uh, that Officer Cottrell was engaged in the commission of the offense or it was his specific purpose to kill a law enforcement officer. Finally, specification number three is a firearm specification. This is the seven-year firearm specification for discharging uh, a firearm at a peace officer during the commission of an offense. Count number two is also an aggravated murder charge. Uh, this is a little bit different uh, theory, simply that Herschel Jones purposely caused the death of a law enforcement officer that he knew to be a law enforcement officer was engaged in his duties or that he specifically set out to kill a law enforcement officer. Count two has all of the same specifications uh, as count one. Uh, a jury could find uh, guilt on count one or count two or both. Obviously, if guilt is found on both counts, those counts would merge. Count three is a count of grand theft, uh, which occurred on the 17th of January, allegedly. Uh, it alleges that Herschel Jones uh, took a nine millimeter pistol from Officer Thomas Cottrell uh, at the time of the offense. Count four is a count of grand theft in a motor vehicle that same date uh, that Herschel Jones III stole the 2007 
Ford Crown Victoria uh, patrol car from Danville Police Department. Count five is a charge of tampering with evidence, um, and it alleges that Herschel Jones altered, destroyed, concealed, or removed records, documents, or things, and those would be clothing and police equipment of Officer Thomas Cottrell uh, with the purpose to impair their value to the investigation. Count six is a count of assault, Herschel Jones assaulting Tiffany Wilgroove, who uh, most of you have knowledge of through media reports, uh, his former girlfriend. Count seven is a count of aggravated burglary, and these are when the dates go back a little bit. This is from the 13th of November, 2015. It alleges that uh, Herschel Jones, third, trespassed at 415 Worcester Road. Uh, that was an occupied structure that was occupied at the time. Uh, and that during this trespass, he had a pistol in his a possession, and that's a Jennings 380 pistol. If you look at a lot of the counts of the indictment, you will see this Jennings 380 pistol uh, repeatedly throughout. There's a specification to count seven, firearm specification, uh, that he used, that is Herschel Jones used the Jennings 380 pistol uh, to facilitate the offense. Count eight is a kidnapping count, also on the 13th of November, uh, that uh, Mr. Jones restrained the liberty of Kevin Mickley, who is the homeowner, uh, named in count seven. Uh, with the purpose to facilitate the commission of any felony or the flight after the felony. Then count nine and count ten are both grand thefts of a firearm from Kevin Mickley. The first firearm is the Jennings 380 pistol, and the second firearm is a 22 caliber revolver, all on that 13th day of November. So that's the rundown of the indictment. Be happy to answer questions that you might have. Yes. Mr. McConnell, 